I'm here in Rabat, Morocco's colorful capital, home to African Development Bank, French Development Agency, and World Bank offices, just to name a few. If you find yourself here for meetings with USAID Mission, a local incubator, or for a future conference, here's what to do and where to eat. Development culture in Rabat is unavoidable. It is a super, super small community where everybody knows everyone. What I like about Rabat is that they're not too insular. Like other cities, you have these like very sort of closed expat communities. Here, folks are pretty chill. It's easier to sort of integrate into the local, uh, into the local culture and the local vibe. For a long day of meetings, running around the city, I definitely would recommend going the Moroccan way and getting a Chevy breakfast, which is just a traditional Moroccan breakfast with all the fixings. So you got your tea or your coffee, different homemade breads right off the griddle, maybe an omelet. The place to get it is called Sahbi. It's an Agdal on Avenue de France, and it's perfectly located between a lot of areas in the city where your meetings probably will be, and it's also right on the tramway line, so it's hard to miss. It's a very walkable city. Uh, a lot of the stuff that you would want to visit, you can walk from place to place if, uh, if you've got a little bit of time. Uh, otherwise, the tram is fantastic. It's clean, it's efficient, it's, it's new and shiny. For places that aren't covered by public transportation, the taxis are cheap, safe, and plentiful. You can have like a very informal and cozy meetings here in the Casbah, the Moor Cafe, where you can have tea over the meeting, or you can go to Karyon Cafe nearby the Museum of Modern Art, or the third place is where you can have enjoy fresh crepes, which is called Post Gourmet. It's very quiet, they have Wi-Fi, so you can enjoy your meetings there in a calm place. The Goethe Institute has a restaurant, which is in Agdel. They have really good pizzas and salads. It's got a really nice kind of vibe. Whether you're here on mission or you're here, you know, in post, chances are you heard about it, you love it, and you go there at least once a week. One of my personal favorites is a place called Deliciosa, which is in Agdel. What I like about these places, you sort of run into everyone. So you've got lots of development folks, embassy folks, uh, and just sort of random people who are grabbing breakfast on their way to work. There are a few spots that you can be, make sure not to miss. Get to the Kasbah of Budaya, a very historical place. Go to the Hassan Tower with the mausoleum and also enjoy a boat tour within the Buria River. The Pietri has live jazz on Friday and Saturday nights uh, and uh, really, really excellent food. And I would say the last kind of must-eat place is uh, Les Deux Palais, uh, which is a little further out in Hassan. They have more kind of traditional Moroccan food uh, and very cheap drinks. Let's say at the end of the day, you're thirsty, you can go to the city center and you can go to the rooftop of Hotel Terminus. It has a beautiful, beautiful view. You can see the palace, you can see the mosque. It's really lovely.